Hi there, welcome to the Nerd Stop. I'm your host, Sean Cordes, the Type 1 Padawan. Today, I have another book review for you. But first, I want to announce my 100 subscriber giveaway winner. Um, the winner is none other than Remember Porkins. I will leave his channel and all of his videos down below in the little About Me box. Um, congratulations. Thank you all for uh, commenting and joining and subscribing and trying to win the giveaway. I had a lot of fun with it. I will be sending all of the stuff out to you very soon, um, and I will be closing off that video very soon. Um, once again, thank you all, and I will be having a 200 subscriber giveaway when I get to that point. Thanks again. I appreciate everyone's support and comments and feedback and everything like that. You guys are all great. So now, let's get on to another book review. Sorry for how late it's been, but I've been very busy, and things happen in a nerd's life, I guess. Um, so, anyways, the book... None other than Star Wars, Heir to the Jedi, by Kevin Hearn. To give you a little background, like I said, I don't give away spoilers. I give you kind of a general synopsis of the book and what it's about and things like that and how I felt about it. So, here we go with it. Um, so, this is taking place right after Star Wars Episode Four. The Death Star has been destroyed. Um, ben Kenobi has died. So, now Luke Skywalker is kind of... The heir to the Jedi, no pun intended. But he is trying to figure out who he is, what he is. Is he a Jedi? Is he just a Force user? What is going on? And how how does this affect his life? And where will he go for the, from this? Also, in the bigger, broader spectrum of things, where's the Alliance in this battle? I, they've just destroyed the Death Star. Um, the Empire is raging, and Darth Vader is right on the Alliance is back with trying to come to terms and revenge with the Death Star. So basically the book goes through uh, Jedi or soon to be Jedi Luke Skywalker trying to find himself and his force uses. Um, he comes into contact with this this really strong female character named Nakari. Um, they set out to find this splicer character. It's like this She's an alien that kind of decodes and splices uh, uh, the emperors and empires' uh, codes and different mathematical things. And this character is very, or this creature, if I can call it a creature, um, does a lot of mathematics and complicating math that helps it um, find probabilities and stuff like that. So basically the storyline is trying to get this creature to its parents or its family um, who are kind of stuck on this this planet um, once they get this creature to its family this this creature or its family will help decode and uh, splice different codes from the Empire for the Alliance which would be very helpful for them um, on the other hand you have Luke Skywalker and this Nakari character kind of like having a love interest which was very interesting and um, Basically trying to get Luke to use his Force powers and figure out his Force powers. Um, good lead up to The Empire Strikes Back. Um, I think it connects well, the storyline. It doesn't take away from The Empire Strikes Back or Luke as a character or a developing character. Um, I won't tell you the ending or what happens. Um, obviously Luke Skywalker will survive because he has to be in the other books and movies. Um, but yeah, I really enjoyed it overall. Um, like I said, this is another canon book. Um, Heir to the Jedi. Um, I guess my only criticisms of the book was it was a little... It didn't have the substance I like within a book. I felt the story was alright. Um, it wasn't really getting me into the story a lot. Um, overall, I give it a 3 out of 5. Um, really enjoyable if you're a Star Wars fan, like the old classic Star Wars. It's also canon, so this actually happened within the Star Wars universe. Um, so check it out and tell me what you think. Um, if you've read the book already, let me know what you think and how the, the story went along and everything like that. Um, so that's my review of Heir to the Jedi by Kevin Hearn. Um, please let me know what you think, like I said, and thank you all again. Um, I am Sean, and I will see you all later.